Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be adding a Christmas countdown to Home Assistant. This countdown will automatically show how many days, hours, and minutes are left until Christmas Day, and we'll be placing it neatly at the top of a dashboard so it looks clean and professional. We'll be building this step by step, so even if you're fairly new to Home Assistant, you should be able to follow along without any problems. By the end of the video, you'll have a fully working countdown that updates in real time and fits perfectly into your existing setup. Before we start building the countdown, there's one thing you'll need to download first. Created a zip file that contains all of the code and images we'll be using in this video so you don't have to type everything out manually. You'll find a link to this zip file in the video description. Once it's downloaded, simply extract the zip file and keep it somewhere handy. We'll be using the contents throughout the rest of the tutorial. Now that we've got the zip file downloaded and extracted, we're ready to get started. First, head over to Hacks. You can find this in the menu on the left-hand side of Home Assistant. Once you're in Hacks, the first thing we want to do is check that card mod is installed. Go to the search box at the top and type card mod. If you already have it installed, you'll see it listed here just like this. If you don't see it, simply click into card mod and install it. It only takes a moment. Next, we'll do the same for button card. In the search box, type button card. If it's already installed, you'll see it listed here. And just like before, if you don't have it yet, simply click into button card and install it from Hacks. Now that both of those are installed, the next thing we need to do is open our configuration files. For this, you'll need to use a configuration manager. In my case, I use Studio Code Server, which you can see open here. Normally, for this part, you would be editing your main configuration. YAML file and adding the code that you downloaded earlier under the configuration section. However, my setup is slightly different because I have my configuration split into folders. So instead of adding everything directly into configuration, YAML, I'll be placing the code into the appropriate files within my configuration structure. Now that we've pasted the code in, the next thing we need to do is save the file. Before restarting anything, it's always a good idea to check your configuration first, just to make sure there are no errors. Once the configuration check passes, go ahead and restart Home Assistant so the new YAML changes are loaded properly. After the restart is complete, we can move on to adding the countdown as a widget on the dashboard. Once Home Assistant has restarted, Head over to the dashboard where you want to add the Christmas countdown. When you're on the right dashboard, click Edit in the top right corner. This will put the dashboard into edit mode so we can add a new card. Next, scroll down to the bottom of the dashboard. Click the plus icon to add a new card. When the card picker opens, scroll all the way down again. At the very bottom, click Manual. This lets us paste in the YAML for the countdown card. Now that we've added a manual card, this is where the second script from the zip file comes in. Go back to the files you extracted earlier and copy the second script, which is the button card configuration. Paste that code directly into the manual card editor, just like this. As soon as you paste it in, you should see the Christmas countdown preview appear on the right-hand side. Now let's add the background image to the countdown card. For this, you'll need somewhere inside Home Assistant to store the image. In my setup, I use a Photos area which makes it easy to manage and reuse images across dashboards. First, click Edit Dashboard in the top right corner. Then hover down the page to where you want to add the background image. Click the plus button to add a new card. When the card picker opens, scroll down the list. From the available options, click on Picture. Now clear the current picture. Now click Add. From here, select the image file you want to use as the background. You can use any image you like, or if you want to keep things simple, you can use the picture that came with the zip file you downloaded earlier. Now click Show Code Editor. Now that we're in the code editor, we need to copy the image address. Then click Save. Now that we've copied the image address, head back to your Christmas countdown on the dashboard. 
This is where we'll paste the image URL so the countdown sits perfectly over the festive background. Now open the Christmas countdown card for editing. In the code editor, find the section where the background image is defined. Paste the image address we copied earlier over the top of the existing value just like this. Once that's done, you should see the countdown update immediately in the preview with the new festive background. And that's it, your Christmas countdown is now up and running in Home Assistant. It updates automatically, looks great on the dashboard, and adds a nice festive touch to your setup. This video helped you out, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Home Assistant tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.